Here's our second polynomial equation word problem. And this is Skill Builder 5.7, page 2, problem number 4. A gymnast dismounts the uneven parallel bars. Her height, h, depends on the time t that she's in the air as follows. h equals negative 16t squared plus 8t plus 8. Part a, how long will it take the gymnast to reach the ground? And part b, when will the gymnast be 8 feet above the ground? So like the last problem, the first thing we want to do is draw a picture of our situation, and that's going to help us put all this information together. So part A, we have the gymnast on the uneven parallel bars, and she's dismounting and landing on the ground. So her height, let's say the gymnast is right here. So her height at a time t is given by the variable h in this formula up here. So we're going to take this formula, h equals minus 16t squared, and use it to answer the question. Part a, the question is, how long will it take the gymnast to reach the ground? The first thing we need to do is turn that into math speak. So let's see, how long will it take t equals what when the gymnast reaches the ground? So in other words, when the height is 0. So we're going to put h is 0 into this equation and solve for t. 0 equals negative 16t squared plus 8t plus 8. Now that we have our equation to solve, we can kind of forget about the word problem and just solve the equation. And then we'll just kind of do a reality check and make sure that the answers make sense within the application. This is a quadratic equation that we're going to solve by factoring. So our first step is to make sure the equation equals 0, and it does. And now we're going to factor. So first we'll factor out the GCF, and negative 8 comes out. And remember, every term will switch signs because we took out a negative. So now we get 2t squared minus t minus 1. Now we have a trinomial to factor. 0 equals negative 8. So we're going to have two binomials. And we'll start with 2t and t. And that gives us 2t squared. And for the last terms, we want 1 and 1. And they need to be opposite signs because of this minus sign. And we also want the larger middle term to be a negative. So that means the 2t times the 1 I want to be a negative, And the 1t times the t to be a positive and mentally check to make sure it gives you the right trinomial. 2t squared minus 2t plus t is minus t minus 1. Yeah, that's fine. Now we're going to set each factor equal to 0 separately, each factor that contains a variable. So we're going to say 2t plus 1 equals 0, or t minus 1 equals 0. And that will give us our solutions for the equation. So solving this out, minus 1 minus 1, we have 2t is equal to negative 1, or t equals negative half, and that would be in seconds. And plus 1 plus 1, t equals 1 second. Now we've solved this out correctly and gotten a negative time and a positive time. And what we need to ask ourselves is, do both of these answers make sense in the problem? So if we look back to the problem, the gymnast is dismounting. And it says that the equation gives her height uh, for the time t that she is in the air. So when she first jumps, that's where t equals 0, because she's just starting to be in the air. Right, so time is 0 when she jumps. That means that this negative time answer we got of negative half second doesn't make sense with the problem. What it, that would correspond to something before she even jumped. So even though mathematically it makes sense in the equation, it doesn't make sense for what we have happening in our word problem. So I'm going to discard that solution. Doesn't fit reality. And t equals 1 second is OK. That's 1 second after she has dismounted. And that's when she lands on the ground. So that is the answer to our word problem. And also, just check to make sure this answer is reasonable. Like, if you got t equals 20 seconds 
for her to land on the ground? That doesn't make sense, right? That means she'd kind of be floating there during her dismount for 20 seconds. Um, so it does make sense that it would take one second. All right, let's get to problem part B now. When will the gymnast be eight feet above the ground? And the exact same situation exists, so we're going to use the same formula, but now we want to say t equals what when h equals 8. And again, we have h is equal to minus 16t squared plus 8t plus 8. So we go ahead and plug in h is 8 equals minus 16t squared plus 8t plus 8 quadratic equation. So what we want to do is get the equation so it's equal to 0 and then factor. So minus 8 minus 8. 0 is equal to negative 16t squared plus 8t. And now we're going to factor out a GCF. 0 equals, and make sure as you're going down here you don't drop off your 0 equals. Uh, it's tempting to just lose that whole part because zero kind of means nothing, but it's a really important number. You need to keep the equal zero part of your equation. So let's factor out negative eight, and we're left with two t. Actually, let's take out minus eight t, and we're left with two t minus one. And the danger with dropping the equal zero part is that the next step here we want to do is set each factor equal to zero and then solve for the t's. Well, if you forget about this equal zero part, you're just going to leave a factored answer and you're not going to actually solve for what does t equal that will give us the equation equal to zero. So now we have negative 8t equals zero, dividing both sides by negative 8. We get one answer, t equals zero. Or 2t minus 1 equals zero. So now we solve for t. 2t equals 1, dividing by 2 t equals a half. And that would be in seconds for both of them. So we have two answers again, and what we need to do is see does that make sense with our situation. So zero seconds. So we want to know does that make sense for her to be at a height of eight? Zero and a half seconds. So if we look at the picture, at t equals zero she's just about to dismount. Yeah, that makes sense. That's a reasonable um, thought that she might be at eight feet off the ground. And then a half second later, she's at eight feet again. Okay, that kind of makes sense, right? Right about here, she'd be a half second into the dismount. And we know that it took her a whole second to dismount. So if we had gotten a number larger than one second, we would say that doesn't make sense. But a half second sounds fine. So because the reality check worked out, we will have two answers for this part of the problem.